everyone. Thank you for watching my channel. My name is Rayan. Today I'm going to be doing a video on YouTube beauty collaborations in makeup that were released. So I have about four YouTubers of collaborations that I purchased from and about eight products total that I will be talking about and reviewing. I did put all the products on my face today so you can actually see what they look like. And yeah, I'm also going to be collabing with a few friends of mine. If you could please check out their videos below. We are all doing different style videos, so please check out their links below. I have Canvas Key, Portia Nicole, Ariana Lynn, and Nisi Mace. So please check out their videos. They will be linked down below. You will love their channels. I love their channels, especially Portia Nicole's channel. She does great fashion on her channel. I love the other beauty gurus channels. They have great tips for hair, they have makeup, it's just all around beauty. So please check out their videos and their channels down below. So now let's get into the video. I'm going to be reviewing each product and letting you know what I think of them. Okay, so the first beauty collaboration I purchased was a few years ago. It was the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible eyeshadow palette. Now, this was the first eyeshadow palette that she came out with. She recently just came out with a second one that is the same thing but has more eyeshadows and more highlighters. So, this was the palette I first purchased. I first purchased a couple years ago. It is the reason why I probably started liking makeup. I think Carly Bible was the first person I ever watched on YouTube as far as beauty gurus. I found her basically because of hair and then I just started watching her makeup videos and I pretty much started really wanting to learn how to do makeup like she does it and like all the other beauty YouTubers on YouTube. So yeah, I purchased her palette. This has been used and abused. I've used it many times. It was probably one of the first eyeshadow palettes I ever purchased that was like an actual palette like I've always had like eyeshadows and stuff but they've been cheap and like from Walmart but this was an actual first eyeshadow palette I ever purchased and I've used the crap out of it this actually broke but this one I did use every single bit of this one it I used it until it was so much left that eventually it just all broke because there was hardly anything left but yeah this was an all white color and this was just like a lighter highlighter color I never really used this it just broke I think my son broke it, but this I did use all of it. It was just like an all over white shadow for your lid. It was matte and these shadows are very good. They are very blendable. They can be maybe just a little bit chalky, but for my first eyeshadow palette, it was perfect for me. It taught me how to do makeup. I loved it. I did use these three shadows today on my eyes, in my crease, and my outer corner as the matte shadows on my makeup look today. So I did incorporate this eyeshadow palette into my video to show you what they actually look like. I do love the pink mauve shades. I think it got me more into the more warmer tones. So now when I use eyeshadows on my eyes, I like to use more warmer tone colors than any other color because they just go good with my skin type. But yeah, this palette is really good. I think it's a good beginner palette. I think I got this on sale on the BH Cosmetics website for about $12. And her new one, I think, is $22. You can now purchase it at Ulta and the BH Cosmetics website. So I have seen them at Ulta. They do have it. So if you are looking for a good beginner palette and just a palette to just get used to eyeshadows, I think this is a great one because this is what I started out with. And I started from there and now I'm here. So I do think it's a good palette for you to invest in and have. I mean, they're not like... Anastasia Beverly Hill shadows, but they are great. They are blendable. They are pigmented and they're really nice And it's nice that they come with highlighters and eyeshadows. So you have Both in one palette. Okay, so this would be the second beauty collaboration that I purchased this year It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero glow kit like I just on a whim purchased this like I saw that they had one left at Sephora and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it and it turned out I absolutely love it. Like, I have used it so much. This Glow Getter is probably my favorite um, highlight. They are glittery. So if you're not into, like, the actual glittery chunks in a highlight, you won't like this palette because they are very glittery. I did use this highlight on my cheeks today. I used it and I used another highlighter over it, which I will talk about in a minute. But I did use this as, like, a top base 
no, a bottom base on my face. So because, but because it was so glittery, I wanted something more like, creamier, so I used a different highlight. But I do like this highlight. I did rate this in my Beauty Awards 2017 as one of the best highlights because it was what I reached for and is what I used most of the year since it came out. The eyes, I use most of these colors as like eyeshadows. I've used this as inner corner eyeshadows. Like it, depending on where my makeup looks, I will use these for inner corner highlights. And then this is just like my main highlighter though. It's when I want to highlight my face, I use this one. It's rare that I use any of the other ones. I have used Daydream before, but it's a little more on the pinky side and I don't really like pink highlighters on me. I like more of the gold tones. So these are very pretty like this one is like a pink with silver glitter in it this is like a more lighter pink with silver glitter this is like a pink with gold glitter and then this one's white of course and then this one's just like a gold highlight and this one seems like it's gold but it has like a little bit of silver in it if it makes sense so they're all very different and I think they can be for different skin tones a bunch of different skin tones can use these maybe for darker skin tones I don't know if these will be good for you maybe like these two but other than that I really enjoy this highlight especially if you have my skin tone or lighter skin tone like my mom and my sister have lighter skin tones for me and this highlight right here looks so gorgeous on them like it looks funky on me but on their light skin tone it looks absolutely gorgeous I really highly recommend this highlighter palette I know you cannot purchase this anymore I believe that it was limited edition and they're not gonna come back but I really enjoyed this palette and I like it. It's one of my favorites and I will cherish it very much because it was only limited edition. So yeah, definitely a plus. Definitely use these all eyeshadows. So if you have this palette, you're lucky because you can use that for so much for eyeshadows, like all over eyeshadows and highlights. The next collaboration that I just recently purchased is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This palette I think I purchased it the second time around when it came into restock and it's already come out three times for restock and I think it's going to come out again in September so you can still purchase it but I really was excited to get this eyeshadow palette. I did use this color right here as an all over lid color and I used this right here on just like the bottom eyelash, not bottom eyelash, bottom eyelid color. So. I didn't want to use too much of these colors because I wanted to use the Carly Ribo palette as well. So I didn't use too many colors, but I have created so many eyeshadow looks with this palette. It is like you look at this palette and you just get so much so much inspiration because you can create so many looks with it. And like I can't wait for like the holidays and stuff to come because I'm excited to try these out for like fall and use more fall colors as right now I've just been using the summer colors. I just think this is a great palette to have. Some of the colors are like nothing I've ever like had before in an eyeshadow. Some of them are really, really creamy. And then some of them are like pressed really hard and they can be a little bit chalky. It's just every eyeshadow is made differently. It's not like, okay, this is a chalky eyeshadow palette or a really creamy eyeshadow palette. It's every eyeshadow is made differently. Like, like this one is really pigmented, like very, very, very pigmented and it, it's like you need to go in with a light hand on this one. Like some of the shadows are like that, like the matte shadows, very pigmented, and some of them aren't. But they have great transition shades. The only thing I think is missing from this palette, like you can create so many looks from it, but the only thing I think is missing is an all over like white matte shadow so you can put in like your brow bone or all over your lid. And these are like, they have a bit of a shimmer to it. So I don't like putting these in my brow bone too much because they have too much shimmer. And I like to just get like an all matte white eyeshadow. That's the only thing that is missing in this entire palette. Other than that, this palette is a great palette. It's a great investment, especially it comes with 35 shadows and the palette costs $38. If you use one of the beauty gurus, 10% coupon codes, you can get it for a little bit cheaper. The only thing is, is when it's, when I got it, it didn't ship out till like almost a month later. It took forever for it to get to me, which kind of sucked. But other than that, it's a great palette to have. I don't really like the packaging because it's white and it gets really dirty. So that's the only negative thing about it. And I think it's a really nice palette. I did wish it had a mirror in it, like if it had a ginormous mirror, but it is what it is. Other than that, this is a great palette to have. It's a great investment, especially if you're starting out 
and you want like one eyeshadow palette that's really going to give you everything that you need, I would go for this one because you can use these colors as highlights. You can use, you can create so many looks with it just by looking at it. It's a great palette to have. It's probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes besides the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. This one is probably my second favorite because it just has so many great eyeshadows and you can create so many looks with it. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I would highly get this in the next restock. I would get it before it sells out. Hopefully they just, Morphe just keeps these. So when they sell out, I can get, when I'm done with this, I can get another one because I think it's a great palette to have. It's beautiful and great quality. Okay, so the last beauty collaboration, I just got all my products recently and I purchased five products, but there are a total of eight products in the entire collection. I didn't get the other three because I couldn't afford it. And those weren't ones that like my eyes were drawn to as much as these ones. So I received the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection. I bought this collection not only because I wanted these products, but because I really do love Dizzy and Katie. They are one of my favorite YouTubers. And of course I was gonna support them and buy their stuff because I absolutely love them and was so excited that they came out with this collaboration. So yeah, I did purchase one liquid lipstick, one regular lipstick, their lip gloss, a highlighter, and an eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go through each one and let you know what I think of them. I do love them very much. I love their YouTube channels and that will not affect how I feel about these products. So the first product I'm going to talk about is this highlighter. This highlighter is the Fuego highlighter. It has a gold tone to it and they have another highlighter and it's called Mirame and it's more of like a pink undertone. They said that the pink one is more for like darker skin tones like Desi's color skin tones and this one is for more lighter skin tones like Katie. But when I saw this on so many people and so many different reviews before they actually came out, I really liked the way this looked on like darker skin tones like my skin tone rather than the Mita My one. So I purchased Fuego, which I think is a very good highlight. It's very creamy and it's not like glittery and chunky glitter. You can keep putting it and layering it on your face. That's what I have on top of the Nicole Guerrero one and I think it's really, really beautiful highlight. I really love it. I really think it's worth your money. This highlighter this highlighter cost $28 and to me it was worth it. I mean $28 for one highlight is kind of a lot but I really do enjoy this highlight and because it's a beauty collaboration I was gonna buy it. I'm thinking this beauty collaboration is currently sold out but they are having a restock in September. They don't have a current date of when the restock will be but I do think when the restock will come if I can convince my husband, I want the Mita Me highlight and I do want another lipstick that they have in the collaboration that I wasn't able to get. So we'll see if I get those. But other than that, I love this highlight because of this packaging. When I saw this packaging, I thought it was just like a bunch of the fake diamonds all over like a packaging, but it's not. It's sort of like this fishnet laid on top of a fishnet with like shimmers in it, it's hard to describe, but it's not like these little diamonds that are gonna fall out, which I like because it's gonna last for a long time. I would love to just display these because of how beautiful they are. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is their four quad eyeshadow this palette. Eyeshadow palette was what I wanted the most. Now, my opinions on this is you are supposed to use this with your fingers. You are not allowed to use, well, you can, but they suggest you use your fingers and not a brush because it's just how you would get more pigment. And this shadow harpoon and this shadow Suze are supposed to be used wet. They said you don't have to use any special spray. You can just wet your finger with water and put them on your eyes and it will work. So there's good and bad things about that. Bad things is if you have nails, like me, it's hard, especially if you have a smaller lid, like me, to get in the certain corners with your finger. So it's really hard for me to get in like my corners and make it, it makes like a mess. So I don't like that about this. I don't like that you can use a brush. These two shadows right here, Turbo Sun and Noli are, Turbo Sun and Noli are meant to be used with just your finger. You don't have to use water or anything with them. So I was kind of disappointed that you have to use your finger. Like at first I didn't think anything of it until I actually tried using these colors with my finger and realized how hard it was for me. So especially because my eyelid is so small, you have smaller eyelids. So 
that's the only negative thing about this palette. And there's also another negative thing. This this shadow right here, the Harpoon, it's kind of like, it looks like I indented it, but it looks like I used so much product. I only used this shadow once. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can see, like it's like indented in. It's like this shadow is kind of like a putty kind of, but not. Like you can put your finger in it and make a shape, if that makes sense. That's how soft it is. And this shadow with this, I feel like when you use your fingers, you use so much shadow that you're like wasting it. Does that make sense? Like you're using so much shadow, like you put it all on your lid and you think you got so much on and you look at your finger and you still have so much left over. And I don't really like that because I want this to last me. Like I, I love this and this is a limited edition collaboration. So I'm not going to be able to go and buy more of these when it runs out. So I was kind of disappointed in that. And I don't really like how this goes on. I mean, I have like a lot of fallout. So if you do your eyes before you do your makeup, you'll be okay. But I did notice this one and Sue's have a lot of fallout. Even when I use my finger wet, I kept re-wetting my finger. And I felt like I just kept using more products that was re-wetting my finger to make sure like I wasn't getting as much fallout as was. This Sue's one, you really get a lot of fallout. I used this one all over my lid yesterday and I had glitter everywhere. And it, it's not like it's just eyeshadow you wipe away with a makeup wipe. No, I had glitter. I had to get tape and remove the glitter spots. And like still, there were glitter. I did use this Shadow Suze on my inner corner along with a highlight. So if you can see, I probably I have little glitters all over my face because I always put my inner corner highlight on after I do my whole face. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed in those ones. Other than that, this one right here, the Turbo Sun, this purple one, it's like not like any eyeshadow I've ever seen before. It is this purpley with like silver, purpley like berry kind of color with silver glitter. And the glitter is just so glittery. It looks like you have glitter on your eyes, but you don't. You have, it's just like this shadow. And it's so beautiful. That one didn't cause me any fallout. This one's probably my favorite one out of all of them. I love this one. I would recommend this palette just so you can get this one. This palette did cost $28, so I don't know. I wouldn't say this is just like if you're into the whole using your finger thing buy this palette if you're not you probably won't like it and yeah so the next product I purchased from them is this liquid lipstick it comes in like soft matte which I like this packaging because it's like nude rose gold and it's soft matte I purchased the hot fire color which is this bright bright orange like if you can see, it's like bright orange. It's like a bright red orange. It's very red orange. Dose of Colors does have another color like my mom has it and it's a, cor I think it's a Coral Crush or something like that and hers has more pink undertone. This definitely has more of an orange undertone. This is very bright. I only worn it once because I like to do like my eyes. I love to put like eyeshadow on. So I feel like this is just like no eyeshadow mascara, eyelashes, that's it kind of lipstick because it's so, so bright. But other than that, this is just like their other formula. This one cost, I think, $18. You do get, I think there's 14 ounces in this and in the regular Dose of Color liquid lipsticks, it's 16. So it costs the same amount, but you get less, which is okay, but I do like the formula. I just wish that they came out with like other colors in liquid lipsticks. Like they did come out with nude colors, but in regular lipsticks, I wish that they were liquid lipsticks instead of just a regular lipstick. So that's the only thing. They came out with really vibrant, bright liquid lipstick colors. The other color is called Sauvage, and it's like this very dark, dark, berry looking, they call it ox blood lipstick, which is so, so dark. It's definitely not me. Definitely not something I would purchase. And if you like the whole dark liquid lipstick, you'll love it. Other than that, I think these are good because Dose of Colors has one of the best liquid lipsticks. And they aren't patchy. They go on really well. They stay on. They're comfortable. I love this. If you like colors like the red orange and the dark ox bloody looking liquid lipsticks, I would definitely get this in the in The product the I have is their actual regular lipstick. Now this is called More Creamer Please. It comes in the same packaging as the liquid lipstick. It's like the soft matte, and it does have their signatures right here on the package. 
And this one I got in more creamer please because it said that it's used for more darker skin tones and it's like more of, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's more of like an orangey color. I do like this, but I hate that it's like a regular lipstick. Like I like Lupu lipsticks. I mean, this is nice, but I will use it. I, I've actually been using it a lot lately, but it's just I would prefer a liquid lipstick over a regular lipstick. They do have another one. This cost, I think, $16. And they do have another one, and it is called No Shade. And it's more of a light pinker tone. Like, this one's more orangey. Like, if you can see. If you can see, that's more of, like, an orange color. And it has a more orange, darker brown color. And I think the other one has more of a lighter pink undertone. Now, they're both nude shadows. So, I do like this. I think it's worth it. $16, which isn't that much. And so, yeah. I do want to get the no shade on the restock so I can let you know about that. I will go more. I may, if I get all the products, I may go into depth and do a tutorial on me actually using these products, but I'm still thinking about that. So the next product, the last product I purchased is this Dose of Colors lip gloss. I absolutely love this lip gloss. It is beautiful. It is like, it's like a, it doesn't look gold. I guess it, it's just like an iridescent color with just tiny tiny little gold glitter flakes in it like tiny like you can kind of feel them when you have them on your lips but it's what I all every time I use this on everything like I put a lip liner on and I use this over the lip liner I use this over what I'm wearing today I have it on over the more creamer please lipstick and it's very very beautiful I think this one's the cheapest one out of the whole collection. It's $15, and I think it's highly worth it. I love this lip gloss. I want another one. Like, they, it's beautiful, and it makes your lips look, like, not glittery and glossy. It just makes your lips look juicy and not glittery, and I really love that about this lip gloss, and I know a lot of other people say the same thing. It's just a very beautiful lip gloss, and I highly suggest it. I have not worn this, like, alone. So I don't know what it looks like like alone, but I have worn it just over lip liners and lipsticks. And yeah, it's pretty much been my go-to almost every day since I got it. So this is definitely a win. I totally love it. I think it's totally worth, probably, it's probably my favorite thing out of the entire collection is this so Those are my thoughts and my review on each product. If you don't, if I didn't mention it to you in the video, I did use every product on my face today except the liquid lipstick. So you can see what they look like. I really do love all of my products that I have purchased in beauty collaborations. I think it's awesome that YouTubers do do beauty collaborations because if they do work with the company, they 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 use makeup and they do makeup all the time. They know what they like and they know what they want. They're not like a company. Just like if you watched like Desi and Katie's story of them with their collaboration with Dose of Colors, you see in their story how they really perfected it. They really went back and forth and did exactly what they wanted because they knew exactly what they wanted. And they weren't going to put something out there that they didn't want. Same thing with like Jaclyn Hill. She worked on the collaboration with Morphe for about two years. She said she went through things in and out, in and out. If you read her story, or if you saw her story on YouTube as well. So all these companies I think are great companies. I think they are great products. I love almost every single product that they have. So yeah, I do think that they're worth it. And I would love to know what beauty collaborations you have and you have tried to let me know so I can get them and try them myself because I love supporting YouTubers. I love supporting beauty collaborations. They're probably one of my favorite things to purchase when I get excited about something. It's probably that. So please let me know what beauty collaborations you have purchased and what beauty collaborations you would like to see me purchase in the future and do videos on for you. So much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.